Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Welcome back to another video. Thank you all for checking this one out. So in this one, I have some information for you guys. Now, it would appear as if the West Indies team will be missing out on another major ICC um, event. This time we're talking about the ICC Champions Trophy. Yes, doesn't seem as if we're going to be able to take part in the 2025 edition. I will give you some info on that. Plus, I'm also going to quickly go through the scorecards for the two games that were played in the Super 50 yesterday. So just give a listening ear and let me know what you think. Especially when you hear about this um, ICC Champions Trophy thing. Right? Remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed and also leave a like on the video all right so let us kick things off with that um icc champions trophy information here so taking this one from the esp and creek info and the headline says 2025 champions trophy qualification at stake during odi world cup so it says the top seven sides at the odi world cup along with host pakistan will compete in the A-team event, right? So the top seven teams at the end, plus Pakistan. So that no leave any room for West Indies right there. So it says the top seven sides at the end of the league stage of the ongoing ODI World Cup in India will qualify for the 2025 ICC Champions Trophy, along with host Pakistan to compete in the A-team event. It says an ICC spokes person confirmed to ESPN Creek Info that the qualification system for the 2025 Champions Trophy was approved by ICC for um, by the ICC board in 2021 so it's been a while that this information has been out there in terms of the boards um, the different boards knowing about it so they say when the competition was brought back as one of the eight men's global tournament uh, to be held in 2024 30 um, to 2031 cycle so when they <clears throat> did the meeting in 2021 spoke about all of them things that, that that they have coming up they decided that that would have been the, 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 the format so they said the development has come as a surprise to a few boards hmm. both whose teams are in India as well as others who missed making it to the ODI World Cup Right, they say who um who told ESP and Creek Info that they were unaware about qualification for 2025 Champions Trophy being at stake in this tournament. <laughs> they know what it is. <laughs> they say at present Bangladesh and England are at number nine and ten on the ODI World Cup points table, and therefore outside uh, the top seven who will qualify for the Champions Trophy along with the host Pakistan. So this is just Butler, the captain of England, when they asked him. He said, yes, I am aware. Man said that, um, absolutely, we are, I am aware. And it just proves we still got a lot to play for. So he's saying that even though they are not doing well in the World Cup, with things like this on the table, or uh, I don't, don't want to say on the table, things like this, um, can say probably potentially going through the door but um you know they're saying that they, they need to play well because they need to secure a spot All right so they say in november 2021 the icc had unveiled several global events for both men and women in the new cycle which will run from 2024 to 2031 including two editions of the champions trophy one in 2025 and the next one in 2029 so <laughs> That is what they are saying, my viewers and subscribers. The top seven teams at the end of this um, first phase here of the World Cup, and then Ing and then Pakistan, who will be hosting in 2025. So, unless something else change, that's going to be another global event that we are going to miss out on, right? Um, based on what they are saying here, we are slated to host the T20 World Cup. When is that next year? So after next year, when we go into the Champions Trophy 2025, we are probably going to have to sit and watch another major event. So um, I wasn't aware of this, but as I said, 
there's no way ICC could come up with something like this and just um uh, there is no way ICC could just come up with something like this and just leave and just not tell the others just tell some people and not tell the others so people probably didn't read the fine print and, and, and things so that is what they are saying my viewers and subscribers so let me know what you all think in the comment section about that one alright so let me just quickly go through the scorecard for the games that were played yesterday in the Super 50 right didn't get a chance to talk about them last night so in the event you didn't um, watch the game or didn't get a chance to see the score i have you covered right here so the barbados um, team they were defeated by the guyana harpy eagles guyana harpy eagles being led by um Sheffield rutherford with the bat getting a half century and goody kishmoti getting a five wicket haul so let me just go straight into that so you know the Ghana Harpy Eagles it was a low scoring game they scored 202 or uh, 46.3 overs and you know they bowled out uh, <laughs> they bowled out the Barbados team for 146 in 39.5 overs so batting for the Guyana Harpy Eagles Sheffield Rutherford made 74 from 70 and he actually um, he actually had four fours and four sixes actually just all right so Sheffield Rutherford as I was saying 74 of 70 with four fours and four sixes to his name he was supported by Kemal who made 35 of 66 so those were the two top scorers um, for the Guyana Harpy Eagles now bowling for the Barbados team um, we would have seen a uh, couple of guys picking up wickets uh, Javed he picked up three for 30 from 6.3 overs uh, Kyle Mayers, Rustin Chase, Kemar Smith and Jamal Warkan they picked up one wicket each and um, we would have also seen great support from uh, Raymond Reefer who had 3 for 38 from his 7 overs so that is how the batting went for Guyana and the bowling for Barbados now when it was time for Barbados to chase down the 202 they were not able to get across the line it was actually only Kyle Mears that put up a significant effort there he made 64 of 63 with 9 fours and 1 6 Craig Brathwaite made 17 and Rustin Chase made 25 Warrican made 11 nobody else was able to get into double figures as a result of some good bowling from Moti and um, Sinclair so in that one, Kevin Sinclair, he picked up 3 for 30 from his 10 overs. Gudikish Moti, he picked up 5 for 17 in uh, 9.5 overs. Would have seen Pramal and Anderson getting a wicket each. So that is how that game went. Shout out to the Guyana Harpy Eagles for securing another victory. Now we would have seen the Jamaica Scorpions going down to the Windward Islands um, volcanoes in their game so the Scorpions my viewers and subscribers unable to really sting <laughs> if you want to put it that way the Windward Island um, team so let me just go through the scorecard so you guys can hear exactly how it went so Windward Islands actually won that game by uh, what's that four wickets so the Jamaica Scorpions scored 158 in one in 42.2 overs and I am taking this from the West Indies page my people 158 they scored and batting for the Scorpions uh, let me pull up the Scorpions batting for the Scorpions we would have seen uh, Enkuma Bana finally getting some runs he actually scored 72, uh, 72. his 72 came off 110 deliveries with five fours and um, we would have also seen uh, Ravman Paul getting 13 uh, Parnell getting 13 and Barnes getting 10 nobody else was able to get into double figures as a result of that Scarpans were scheduled out to 158 now bowling for the windward team the wickets were basically shared uh, Sherman Lewis he picked up 3 for 18 from his 4 overs uh Cyrus he picked up uh three for 40 from 10 overs and we would have seen Andre Fletcher 
picking up two for seven off his 1.2 overs so anything um you know the the jamaica scar well the jamaica scorpions weren't able to repel anything that the windward team was putting forward no going in search of that we they got the, to the score with, within 36.2 overs with six um having lost six wickets so there's one that game by four wickets no batting for them i'll alik arthur is getting another start quick start 36 of 28 with six fours uh johnson charles made 13 jeremy solazano made 40 and we would have seen shamar springer getting 24 not out and um sunel ambrose he made 15 bowling for the scorpions uh Jover, uh royal he picked up one parnell picked up one uh brad barnes one and odin smith picked up one but the windward islands team proved too strong for the defending champion so that is your roundup for those two couple of game for those two games and a little bit of information about the icc champions trophy gonna leave it right here for now big up